Hi, it's Steve and Caleb back from Brownells, and today we have another edition of Smithbusters. Caleb, let them know what you got. All right, so today we're going to talk about mixing and matching bolt carrier groups in your AR-15. Oh, that sounds dangerous. It sounds dangerous. Um, so this is one, we've, we did some videos on other stuff AR-15 related. I don't remember what specifically, but over the course of a few different videos, this was viewer requested. Uh, not necessarily like, hey, I heard you can't do it, or hey, I heard you can't do it, even though I'm sure there's plenty of that out there, because I've heard that both ways as well. Um, but, you know, we've gotten comments that said, hey, do this one. Okay. So, we're doing this one. All right, do it. All right, let's do it. All right, uh, what were we talking about? I'm just kidding. You go first. I'll go first. So, mixing and matching bolt carrier groups in your AR-15. So, when you get your AR-15, it's set up, or if you've built your AR-15, hopefully you've headspaced your bolt carrier group to your barrel. Or if you've bought it, the bolt carrier group's headspaced to your barrel. So, what happens when you start mixing and matching? So, whenever you throw another bolt carrier group in there, let's say most people aren't going to headspace it. They're just going to kind of mix and match. True. Then you run, uh, run into the issue of running into you know issues you have with when you run out run into excessive headspace um, or not enough headspace or even if you did here's the kicker here here's where it gets interesting let's say you did check the headspace does that mean it's okay to mix and match now and I was hoping you would kind of weigh in with a little more Steve I'll, I'll do that's so, okay look listen take a sip I'll, I'll do the lifting it's all right look I mix and match them all the time. Yeah, so do I. I do. As a matter of fact, if the gun doesn't run, I'll try another BCG in there just to see what happens. Mm -hmm. Yes. So. But I won't do that with any other platform. I won't do that with any other platform. And it all depends on the round count in between as well. So if you, let's say you have two bolt carrier groups that you know headspace to your AR-15 barrel, right? That doesn't necessarily mean you can shoot a ton of ammo with one bolt carrier group and expect the headspace to measure exactly the same with that other bolt carrier group. Right. That's not how it works. Because that first bolt carrier group, the lugs on that bolt are now breaking in with the lugs on the receiver extension of that barrel and they're wearing together. So that changes everything. Now, whenever I say changes everything, and whenever I, you know, I'm talking about all this, it takes a pretty significant round count. How many rounds, you ask? And I can't give you a number because that depends on so many different factors. Now, ammuni ammunition, you know, pressure of the system, you know, what gas system set. It, it, it's a lot of factors that go into it. But it is a, it is a lot of ammo. You're not going to go out and shoot a few mags and expect everything to change. No, but a rifle that's used in training, like in military training, week in, week out, throughout the cycles of the year, um, they're gonna wear down. Yeah, there's a reason all those guns go through annual checks. And there's a reason some of those guns fail annual checks. Uh, because uh, they fail annual headspace checks because they just shoot so much, even with that same bolt carrier group. And if you were to mix and match those guns, then you would definitely run into some issues, unsafe issues. All that being said, in the civilian world, these guns are all made to the same basic specs, the same set of specs. So everybody's bolt is about the same size, about the same measurement. Everybody's extension on the barrel is made the same way. It's set up with the same head space. Um, they're more or less interchangeable. You should always check your head space with a gauge. That's the, that's the key right there. Don't don't go hurt yourself and say Steve and Caleb said I didn't have to check my headspace because right. we're time stamping this. We're going to put it in. Steve said check your, I'm, I'm doing it. I'm going to chapter it out. And you, you don't need a full set of gauges. Just a no-go gauge is fine. Yeah, really. So And I mean, you don't need a field gauge necessarily because that is for law enforcement military with those high round counts. There is some, uh, there's a little more leeway for those guys they will allow a, a longer chamber sometimes. Yeah. As they used to. Yeah, and yeah, exactly like you said. So we have that special headspace gauge that is longer right. than a no go. Right. It still says you're okay. Yep. 
But you don't want to shoot it. I mean, the, the ant, it's hard on your brass. It's hard on your brass. Um, your gun's not going to be performing as good as it could be. No. That just so those longer gauges and your field gauges. That's just saying that your gun is safe to operate. That doesn't mean it's going to be operating well. Right. So if that makes sense. And some of you guys that have class three uh, ARs, um, you know, this might be an issue for you. Yeah. More than anybody else. Uh, the rest of us shooting semi-auto and with the price of ammo these days, it, we're not going to wear in the headspace that much. Not anytime soon. No. So, what do you say? I say, um, I say, busted. I say you can't willy nilly, you know, mix and match bolt carrier groups. Right. When you do, just check it with the gauge. Check it with the gauge, yeah. And 99 times out of 100, it's going to be fine. Busted. Busted. More or less. More or less, yeah. Busted with stipulations. Oh, come on. Yeah, so it's still busted. Busted's busted. It's like like kind of pregnant. You're either pregnant or you're not. It's busted or it's not. Yeah, Look, I want to drink my that's, coffee. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's do it. So let us know what you think in the comments below because uh, everybody that has an AR-15 has an opinion on this, and we want to hear yours. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time with another episode of Smith Busters.